Hello everyone. So moving right along, we finished the interface, we finished document setup, and you should have finished the basic shapes tutorial and assignment. Make sure those are submitted, okay? Moving on to the gradient fill. So we're going to be working with colors and the basic shapes. And then we're going to talk about using negative and positive art. Next. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll go to file. Let's go to new. Hopefully you guys have this recent document set up. All right, so we need to be in inches. We're in landscape, 11 inches in width, eight and a half in height. Okay, and I have two artboards set up right now. Okay, you can decide how many artboards you want in the home screen. And I want you guys to go ahead and set that to two. Then hit create. And here's our artboards. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is zooming in and zooming out. Okay, and then there's so there's several different ways, but the easiest way to zoom in a little and zoom out a little is holding down the control key and using the plus and minus. So I can minus to zoom out, plus to zoom in. Now let's say I zoom in too much and I've been working on my artboards, okay, and I just want to come back to my home screen with the two artboards in place. That is control alt zero all together and that will bring you back home. Again, that is control alt zero. Another one that you can do is maybe you want a larger artboard and you only want one artboard in your viewing panel. How you can do that is simply hold down the control key and hit zero. And now you can see that we have one artboard. In this particular example, it went to my artboard number two. You can also navigate by using the artboard window flyout. I can hit this and I can double click on what artboard I want to work on. All right, so hopefully that eases you guys when you're trying to zoom in and out and um, that kind of thing. Another way to zoom in and out is to use the actual tool. Notice the shortcut is Z. The more shortcuts you learn, the faster you'll be able to navigate and complete art, okay, or design. So hit it and now you can see I have it and now you can see I'm zooming in. Okay, whoa, it's crazy, right? So just, I'm gonna go control zero, bring her back in. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on what it is that I want you to do. So on the gradient fill, what I want you guys to do is I want you to divide this art board into four equal parts. And I'll show you guys how to do that using guidelines. And then we're gonna make four different shapes. And then I want you guys to make four different color schemes on all the patterns and then I'm going to introduce a new um, tool pack and it is the width tool and that is right here and if I right click you can see that there's quite a few tools that you guys will be able to use so let's go ahead and get this thing rolling so the first thing is I'm going to hit control R and control R is going to bring my rulers as you can see right here follow my cursor there are no rulers right here on the side okay but if I hit control R now you can see that they appear, okay? Another way to get these back is if you come here and go to edit. Um, sorry, I misspoke on that one. I always do that. View. If you go to view and come down, you can see that your rulers are right here. And right now it says hide because they're showing, okay? If I hit that, you can see they disappear. Okay, so I'm gonna hit control zero get my window back in there. Now I'm gonna hit Control R. One more time. Okay, and now my rulers come back. I'm gonna get my selection tool and I'm gonna go up into the rulers bar and I'm gonna click, hold down the mouse and drag out. And what I'm dragging out is called a guideline. Okay, and we're gonna drop this off at about four and a quarter. Quarter, no, wait, 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 um, it's 11, eight and a half, yes, four and a quarter, right there, okay? Trying to divide this out in equals, shares here. Wait a minute, this isn't right. Oh, yep, wrong way. All right, so here's my four inches, guys. I'm trying to go four and a quarter. As you can see, I'm actually at three and like um, seven eighths or so. So let's bring that down to four and a quarter, right about there. Now it's 
uh, divided in half. And you can also go up and look at the Y, right? So we're going up and down, which is the Y axis. You can come up here and you can see that I have four and a half inches up here, okay? So now I'm going to bring out a ruler from this side, and this would be on the X axis. And remember, our document is 11 inches in width. So 11 inches divided by 2 is 5 and a half inches. Now I have four equal parts, okay? How I um, come up with four and a quarter or 4.25 is, you know, your document in height is 8.5. So you do the math, comes out to four and a quarter. All right, so I'm just going to grab the rectangle. I'm going to click and drag, okay? Now, one of the things that can happen to you is this thing can disappear. And why everything would disappear, I'm going to hit V for the selection tool and deselect it. See how it disappeared? If I draw a box around it, it'll reappear. The reason why it's disappearing is if you look up here, follow my cursor, there is no color, okay? So right now there is no fill and no stroke, okay? So that is our problem. So I'll go ahead and just add a color to it, okay? I'll add a simple stroke to it. All right, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do gradient, okay? So my object is selected over here if i come over here and hover you can see this is my gradient tool i'm going to click this and it'll slide out and the default is white gray and black right okay so i'm going to go ahead and select that and notice that it turns it into the default in order to choose our own colors all you need to do is come down to this slider right here you can see where it says the gradient slider double click all right again double click and now I can change the colors. You can use the um, spectrum grid, but I kind of like working with swatches. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select swatches and I'm going to pick from my swatches over here. So let's say I'm going to go red, maybe come over here and grab this one and give it a yellow. And so for your assignment, what I would like you guys to do is I would like you guys to create at least four colors and play and slide these sliders around. You can also play with the carrot up here and um, adjust the range of that color, okay? And how you add more colors is, notice that I have this plus symbol right now on my cursor. I can click and create a new slider. I'm gonna come here and create another slider, okay? And so now I can double click on these sliders and I can begin to go all crazy and add different colors to it okay go green okay another thing that you guys can do um, is you can change the angle so right now it's just going from um, left to right if I hit this drop down here you can see that I have a whole slew of options I can go 30 degree I can go 90 degree and have it up and down so I would like it to see you guys um, change the angle and play with the attributes that you see here Another thing that you guys can do is change the opacity. And basically what opacity does is allows you to kind of see through the color. It really won't be very effective in this particular example, but it will, for example, if you're using images and you wanted to put some color in front of the images, you can make the color see through so you could see like a faded image behind it. And I'll show you guys that later. Another feature that I want you guys to look at is the linear versus radial. Maybe try something radial when you're working with like polygons, stars, and circles, okay? So that's the first part. And I would like you guys to do four separate objects with a different color scheme. The second part of this is I want to introduce you guys to the width tool package. If I right click, I have all kinds of options here. I'm going to select the twirl tool. I'm going to grab that. And now you can see I have this big circle. If I don't want my design to be so big, I can hold down the Alt key and I can click and drag and make my circle smaller. And again, I'm holding the Alt key, clicking the mouse, left clicking, and just trying to move the mouse around until I get a nice small circle or whatever I want. Okay, there we go. Something like that. And then I can come to the edge of my design and I can do something like this. Okay, I can go all crazy. All right. I can bring it in, okay? I can hold down the Alt key, maybe make my circle bigger, all right? Do something like that. 
Uh, you can switch this out, maybe crystallize it a little bit. Okay, whatever the case may be. Your design, just go crazy, all right? And what I'm, I'm not grading you on the design, necessarily, but what I am grading you on is that you guys are able to do the gradient fill. You're able to use these uh, tools within the whiff tool. Um, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for you're changing the angles you're using radial and you have four different color schemes and you're using the sliders okay and again how you use the sliders you just simply grab them move them around create more green create more blue oh I don't have it selected that's why it's not changing sorry select it and now I can go here and change it right slip slip the blue go all crazy do different get it the way you like okay so and remember guys Four shapes, I want them all different. That's the first part. The second part is this. So I'm going to come here, whoops, go to my second artboard. On this one, and now once you guys have done that, you can go ahead and delete this, this guideline. So just click on it and then hit backspace or delete and that will go away, okay? I want you to create something with positive and negative space. Okay, you can do that in a lot of ways, but for this particular example, let's just keep it simple. Let's use a rectangle tool. Let's make a, a fairly good size rectangle, and then let's get some color in there. If you guys want to do solid color, that's fine. If you guys would like to try a gradient color, that's fine as well. Okay, and for this particular example, I'm just going to go something really quick. I'm going to hit the drop down. I'm going to go default here. I'm going to change it, let's say, 90. I have no reason why. I'm just, just going crazy here. And then what I would like you guys to do is use the eraser tool and create some negative and positive artwork. I'm going to show you some examples here. Let's go out here to the Internet. And these are examples of, and notice I just typed in negative and positive artwork. And here are some examples that came up. And this, these are very cool. All right. Now the eraser tool isn't necessarily the ideal way of doing this. There are several ways. I just want you to do, to use the eraser tool and and use some color with a rectangle just for quick practice to see different ways on how you can create a design fairly quick and easy with just simple simple tools to begin with, okay? If I scroll, you can see there's some really cool stuff that people have done here. Okay? Now I understand that, you know, this could take you a really long time to do some of these. Please don't take forever. Just find something simple, something that you like. Maybe this one will give you some ideas and then and then go to it, all right? So then come up here. This is what it looks like. Grab my eraser tool. Here you can see that I have my eraser tool, but notice how small the circle is. On this one, how you can change the size, the diameter of your eraser is if you look at the letter P, Look just to the right of the letter P and you'll see brackets. Those brackets are what allow you to create a bigger circle. So if I hold it down, okay, so the, the bracket to the right will make it larger. The bracket to the left will make it smaller. I hope everyone can see that. Okay, if you can't, please help somebody if they're stuck. And now I can just start going crazy with my, you know, my design, right? Okay. All right, something simple. Sorry, I'm not gonna take really long um, to create a cool design. You guys take your time. Let's see what everybody has in has in store for us. All right, all right, y'all. Happy erasing. Peace out.